in this video tutorial i am going to discuss about dextrins dextrins so dextrins is not a single compound it is the group of compound heterogeneous actually heterogeneous group of compound which are a partial hydrolyzed product of the starch now what does it mean suppose this is the molecule of starch and we all know that starch is the polymer of glucose molecules right so these chains are indicating of the polymers of glucose molecule and there are branches right this is one branch this is another so there are many branches and branches also contain the sub branches right so this is the molecule of starch now if this starch molecule is partially hydrolyzed okay partially hydrolysis of the starch molecule occurs this is not a complete hydrolysis this is partial hydrolysis if complete hydrolysis of the starch takes place then the final molecule will be the glucose but as this is a partial hydrolysis we get the pieces the small pieces of another molecule which are again the polymers of the glucose molecule right and there may be a different chain length there, there may be a different branching points all these thing happens and this collectively known as the dextrins dextrins okay so dextrin is not a very well defined molecule but it's a randomly broken down starch molecule that is known as the dextrin now in case of dextrin there is one special subtype of the dextrin that is known as limit dextrin limit dextrin now this limit dextrin has one peculiarity that if this is a chain of glucose molecule and there there are the branches right if branch contain only a four glucose molecule see here only a four glucose molecules are there from the branching point it may have another branch which again contain a four glucose molecule so it may have n number of branches but each branch contain fixed amount of glucose molecule that is that is a four in number so this particular this peculiar molecule is known as limit dextrin this limit dextrin is also formed from the starch right also formed from the starch but by a special enzyme by special enzyme its name is beta amylase beta amylase if you mix beta amylase with the starch and give enough time give enough time to fully act this beta amylase on the starch then its ultimate product its ultimate product will be of this limit dextrin the dextrins and limit dextrins are biomedical important biomedical important in the infant feeding formula in the infant feeding formulas is this dextrins are already partially hydrolyzed right partially hydrolyzed so the the infant's intestine which is not fully developed can easily digest this dextrin so this completes our dextrin now in the next video tutorial i will be discussing about dextrans and the agar